Hi, welcome to Nest Egg News, your monthly local real estate market insight. I'm Joni Elkabray with Five Stones Group, brokered by EXP Realty. We offer local monthly stats that are based on a 12-month average. You may be wondering why 12-month average versus month-to-month -month you find in most reports out there. Because tracking the trends of home values smooths out the month-to-month -month price fluctuations or seasonality of the numbers, giving you a more accurate picture of where the market is headed and the overall health of the real estate market. We dive deep into the numbers. Here you will get detailed information for your specific neighborhood. It's simple to request your report. Just scroll down this blog post to the section labeled Nest Egg News Downloads. Then follow the instructions to download your area report or request your neighborhood report to be delivered to your inbox. Well, why should you keep track of how the housing market is performing? Well, because life happens and things can change and we all make better decisions when we're well informed. Here's a glimpse into our detailed report. It is reported in every category by every price range. This is important because believe it or not, different price ranges do perform differently. Cool to know, right? It's like having x-ray vision into our local market. This makes our subscribers the best educated, best informed in the markets we cover. The areas we cover are the Woodlands, Magnolia, Montgomery, Conroe, and Spring Northeast. So for real data and real insight, don't forget to visit our blog each and every month or subscribe. Okay, now that we've covered all that, let's talk about what's happening in the market. The number of homes sold in the Woodlands is still on a nice upward trend with prices holding pretty steady overall as of April 30th. And while we may see that trend down slightly in May's numbers, it most likely will swing upward again in June. That's because applications have bottomed in uh, mortgage applications have bottomed in early April, but have quickly recovered and are up 10%, and that is according to the Wells Fargo Weekly Economic and Financial Commentary. In Magnolia, the number of homes sold trend is up 4.8% on average as of April 30th, and price per square foot is still trending up by 2.5%, even with the setbacks that have impacted our local economy. The Montgomery market seems to be less affected um, because the number of homes sold is still trending up 8.3% uh, and the price of per, per square foot is trending up 4.2% on average. Plus, days on market in Montgomery is still trending down. So I would have loved to have seen how the Montgomery market would have performed minus COVID-19 and the oil price drop. Did you know the oil rig count is down to 339 active rigs? That is a 57.4% drop since the first of the year, according to Baker Hughes. So Montgomery is holding pretty strong overall. In Conroe, the number of homes sold is still trending up 2.3% while price per square foot trended up 5.4% on average as of April 30th. Plus, in Conroe, the number of active listings is still on an upward trend, unlike the other four markets that we cover, which are on a downward trend. Okay, Spring Northeast. Number of homes sold still had a positive trend up 6.6%, as did price per square foot up 3.7% on average as of April 30th. Well, so far, demand has held up relatively well considering recent events. The housing market had a lot of momentum coming into 2020, and the underlying drivers, such as low mortgage rates and a new wave of millennial buyers, do remain relatively intact, according to the Wells Fargo Securities Economic Group. It is definitely interesting to study the housing market during these times, and we are staying on top of it for you. Want to learn more about us? Check out our links. I'll post the clickable link below. Have any questions? Let's chat. The coffee or tea is on me. Don't be in the dark. Stay in the know. Remember to scroll on down to subscribe to Nest Egg News or download more detailed reports or simply bookmark our page so you'll remember where to find us each and every month. I want to thank you for watching and have a great month. See you next time.